Hello and uh, welcome to this video in which I am going to take you through how to calculate EMI, how to calculate principal component of the EMI, and how to find out the interest component of EMI. So basically, we are going to work on three things calculate EMI. So we will find out the EMI first. Second thing, if you want to know how much interest you are paying, okay, in EMI, so we will find that out. And how much principal component you are paying in the EMI. So for this, we will use three functions in Excel. This is called as PMT. This is IPMT. And this one is PPMT. So we are basically going to work on three Excel functions. We can call it as Excel functions. Now, let us start with the PMT function. So how do we calculate the EMI? We have a loan of 45 lakhs rupees. The interest is 9.2%, which is per annum. Loan is for 15 years which means 180 months. So given this, calculate what should be the EMI. It's very simple. You write equal to PMT in the Excel. Open the bracket. After you have opened the bracket, you will write 9.20% divided by 12. Now, it's very important to note why we are dividing it by 12. Because while the rate of interest is per annum, the EMI is paid each month. So you have to convert the rate into per month and that's why you are dividing it by 12. After that, you will write the period which is N per and that happens to be 180 months. So you write 180 and you will write the amount which is 45 lakhs here. So once you have put 45 lakhs, then you close the bracket and you press enter. But you would have noticed here that I have entered the amount in minus. Why did I do it? Because if I don't do it, the answer would come in negative. And EMI, technically speaking, cannot be negative. So we get an EMI, which is 46,178.94. Now, if somebody comes to you and asks you a question that I have a loan of 180 months, can you tell me how much principal I will be paying? in the 132nd month of the loan and how much interest will i be paying in the same month which means somebody wants to know out of inquisitiveness how much interest is going to pay in 132nd month of the loan and how much principal he is going to pay in the same month now this 132nd month that i have selected is just a random month you can select any month so let us see how do we reach to the interest component so we will use the function ipmt so we'll write ipmt open the bracket you will select the rate to be 9.2 percent divided by 12 again okay then you will select the month for which you want to find out the interest component and that is 132nd month then you will select the number of months in the loan which is 180 then you will select minus the value, which is your 45 lakhs here. And then you press enter. You will get 14,416 as the interest component that you are paying. And this interest you are paying in 132nd month. Now, let us calculate the principal amount. How will you get the principal amount for 132nd month? So now we will use the third function, which is PPMT. So we go to function PPMT. Again, we will write PPMT here. Okay. Open the bracket. We will select the rate of interest, which we have to select as 9.20% divided by 9.20% divided by 12. Put a comma. Then you select. 132 because that's the month for which you are going to calculate the principal 
then you select 180 do not forget to put comma between all these values and then you select the last value which is the total amount of the loan then after doing this you will get the principal component so your principal component is uh, comes as this much so now you check and see if you have calculated emi correctly or not so you will put this plus this and you will get your emi which is what we had started with which is 46178 so as mentioned in the beginning remember three functions pmt you can calculate the principal component ipmt you can calculate the interest component ppmt you can calculate the principal component i hope this video made sense for you if that's the case then do not forget to like my video and subscribe to the channel thank you so